So we're getting a little bit of a late morning start here. Uh, the trap line's probably going to be open for a couple of days, the way the snow is melting. It's uh, really windy today, but got my little helper today. Wanted to take her out before the line closes, so today's a, a not too bad day. It was only minus 10 there this morning, and it's already started to warm up here in the sun, so I got her all bundled up. Hey, you ready to go trap? No, Daddy. No? Daddy. You want to go catch a fox? No, Daddy. What about a coyote? No, Daddy. Daddy catch him? Yeah. And so we got the gun and everything, and of course, we had to bring a dolly. <laughs> so, we're just uh, getting ready here and we're heading out. Alright guys. Slippery, eh? So we're just walking the uh, to the last snare here, down at the end of the uh, line. Didn't catch anything uh, today, but uh, we're just walking down and checking the last snare. You having fun? Yeah. It's fun, eh? Mm -hmm. Want to keep going? really nice uh, morning out sun's up nice bright day there's a cloud bank uh, over the west there heading this way so might end up maybe getting some snow today or something but yeah there's uh, there's not a whole lot of snow well I think that's it Hyde yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's the last snare there, yeah. and there's nothing in it. Yeah. No, we didn't get them. Yeah. You see it? Right there? See those tracks? They go in there? The sna yeah, see? Okay, now we're going to walk back. We're going to go back this way. Back to? Yep, back to the snow machine. Yeah, we're going to go back and see Mummy now. But, uh, yeah, the snow, you can tell, like, incredibly uh, packed. And I mean, this morning it's froze, but uh, it's that time of year where there's just not a whole lot of snow left. In the bush, it's not too bad, but a lot of my uh, snow machine trail is out in the open and has melted down to next to nothing so um I gotta feed the cows tomorrow and bed everything down oh look Hyde fresh deer tracks they must be starting to move out of their yards hey looking for new food But, uh, yeah, so I got to feed the cows tomorrow, bed them, uh, so that'll take uh, all my morning up. And then usually by afternoon it's too warm to run the machine, so um, I won't be checking tomorrow, but uh, I'll probably be pulling up. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I'll probably pull up Thursday, I'm thinking. So, that's all right. It's been a fun year. Uh, but, anyway. Um, yeah, so we're going to head home now. And... Alrighty, guys. We'll see you later. Little muskrat. Down in the creek. Just below the barn. Having a little snack in the afternoon sun. We were just heading out and just looked over and said there's something furry in the creek. 
little muskrat. Actually a decent little size of one. Might have to set some muskrat traps. Just out for a little drive and old Pepe Le Pew walking down the road. Good prime four dollar pout right there boys. Kinda surprised he's out. Minus three out today. Well, to say that I am excited is an understatement. The reason being is this is coyote number eight. It looks like a really nice one. I haven't even gone up to it yet. But I am pulling snares. I, I'm pulling all my traps today. It's, uh, what is it, March the, I don't know. Last week of March, and uh, I mean, there's snow here, but uh, like just because we're down below this hill, but out in all the other fields, there's no snow. I got to go across a bunch of grass just to get to the fence line to get on snow. And uh, last night, like this morning, it's minus 10, last night, I got down to minus 15. But that was literally the last night that it's supposed to uh, really freeze. Um, looking at the two week, cold is supposed to get at night is like minus four. So, um, yeah, it's time to pull. Uh, the coyotes are starting to get a little bit rubbed too. So, um, anyway, I'm really excited. So, right there beside the birch tree is where I caught coyote number seven. Uh, just a few days ago, I re hung a snare there. Um, and these snares are on my property. And uh, so, what I'll do is um, I'll just go up, grab the snare loop, pull it right closed, and then I'll just, once I turn the camera off, I'll just take that snare. And I'll just kind of wrap it around the tree, and then it's uh, it's done. Nothing can get caught, and then it's there for next year. I don't have to boil them or anything, because uh, I mean a year of being out in the au natural is uh, is the best. So anyway, this is where I caught number coyote number seven, and right here. Is where I caught coyote number five or six. Anyway, um, and I rehung a snare here when I rehung that snare over there, and uh, more or less just to have it out for the end of season to pull up, like to leave uh, for the year. Uh, I didn't really know if I would catch another coyote right there, just because I mean this would this is the third coyote within. Uh, 10 yards of each other in the last couple weeks so wasn't too sure if they'd still be running through these holes but obviously they are um, anyway that's a beauty of a coyote like really nice looking from what I can see so literally hung himself you can see the wire goes down there and is wrapped around that tree that's what it's attached to and he went up jumped over the fence and hung himself he didn't even hardly move around here it uh, doesn't take long once they hang themselves like that so anyway we'll get them out of the snare and we'll have a look at them so there we go there's that coyote out of the snare <coughs> it's a big old female in relation to the snow machine everything looks good on her I don't see any mange or anything perfect catch right around the neck good and tight All the tail is there, so that's a really, really nice looking dog. 
Nice pale belly on her. Really nice coyote. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll keep on going. Heading up the hill there. And uh, yeah, so I've pulled three snares so far. There's a de the deer leg there. They must have brought that over from the gut pile. Because that wasn't there last time. So there's that snare. You can see I got it just looped up in through the tree there and closed up so anyway we get this guy uh, girl thrown in the trailer and uh, actually I'll leave her here because I got to come right by but and uh, we'll go and check some more snares and pull everything alrighty guys well just walking down to uh, pull that last snare and it's always a sad time of year when you gotta pull your traps. But uh, anyway, um, I am happy that I, I did end up with uh, the eight coyotes, so uh, can't complain about that. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, not a not a bad year all in all. There's the last snare hanging there. So I'll get that taken down. Um, this is not my property. I have permission to trap it, but I, it's not mine. So I never leave snares um, like closed on other people's property. I always take everything out. So, But uh, anyway, so I'll grab that snare. And uh, it was a good year. The weather wasn't too bad. It was a warm, uh, warm winter. But uh, anyway, not a whole lot uh, else to say. Um, for the guy still trapping, uh, good luck. Uh, lots of muskrat uh, trapping to still be done. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I, I won't get some muskrat traps out, but I uh, I doubt it, just uh, with, with everything's going on the farm there, cabin and everything, so um, I think this is probably it for me this year. Uh, so the total count for canines was uh, six fox and eight coyotes. Uh, so that's that's pretty good. And all... All within uh, like a few hundred acre lots here, and I probably had about two dozen snares out uh, since I don't know, like the first of January, and it's the end of March now, so that's not too bad. Um, so, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I will be doing uh, the farm series. Uh, there will be more videos coming with uh, the farming things. So if you're into that, uh, check those out. Um, otherwise, I'll be doing Nuisance Beaver again this year and be doing some videos on that. Um, so yeah, my channel's not going to just shut down, but uh, the videos may slow down a little bit. So anyway, keep watching and uh, stay safe out there, guys.